In this one, we're going to go about setting up our animation montage to work whenever we go to fire. So that way it'll play the pistol and our hand animation at the same time. Now in the last video, I restructured, well, I changed a little bit of the skeleton to the pistol. Well, I'm not going to do that to the arms or anything like that, even though it would be a good thing to do. Because we already have all these animations created, and I messed up so I no longer have the animations in the action list. So I don't have, I'm not going to go through and recreate all the animations just for one little rename. So I'm just going to leave it for this little series. But that's just something to point out. Uh, so we can go ahead and create a montage. So inside of our character animations, right click, animation, animation montage, select our FPS character. I'm going to call this one fire. Montage. Open her up. Click Asset Details. And by default, it'll just look like this. I, think, I don't think anything else is really minimized. And we're going to select our 1911 Down Sights Fire. So it's playing like normal. And there's nothing for us to really do yet, but this is going to be what dictates or dictates our uh, at the low ready. Just when we're kind of firing from the hip slash chest, we're not actually aiming and firing. To when we're actually aiming down the sights and firing. So we're going to have, for example, this being the second one. So you know we go through. You can see the red line there. We would have two separate sections. I haven't actually created anything, so it's not going to do anything, but this top one would be for like aiming down sights. This bottom one would be for at the low ready. And then when we call our play montage, we can simply choose which one to play. So I'm going to leave the idle for now. So we just have our pistol recoil animation. And I'm going to go ahead and just go to animation slot manager, change default slot to fire. Can I not rename you? Okay, cool. Let's go to add slot, call it fire. Then I'm going to change this from default slot to fire. Okay, cool. Why are you having issues now? Okay. I don't know what the issue with that was. I guess it was just a little bug. But I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm going to leave this open because we're going to be making some changes as we test. But I think we're good to go to try to play it. So I'm going to go to our animation blueprint, animation graph, and back all the way out to where we see our state machine and output pose. What we're going to do is we're going to search for uh, what was it? Default. Right under montage, slot default slot. We click on it. We change it from default slot to fire, like so. And we're just going to plug it in. So state machine to the source and slot to the output. And save. Now let's open our blueprint. And we see our fire animation that's there by default with the first person project. Change it from first person fire to fire montage and save. So now we press play. All right. It is not working. I think I commented all that out, didn't I? Yeah, I did. So if weapon fire, I almost forgot. We look here, we have our fire animation. So we're just going to copy this section here and paste it in. And I'd comment. So this will actually already be set up by default and just compile. This is what's going to be starting and pretty much playing our uh, animation montage. Just got to wait for it to compile eventually. About time.
right? So I aim, you can see my hands and arms are recoiling with each shot, but it's not quite as aggressive as how we have it in Blender. So if we look in Blender, uh, I'll just look in this view. Make sure ADS, no, ADS fire selected. I'll go to the timeline, just change it to 12, 13. So it's more of an aggressive jolt up. Whereas this is a very smooth play. So the ways we can adjust this, if we go to our blend out and blend in inside of our montage, blend time for blend in, I'll just give you an example by setting this to zero, it's immediate. So you can see it snaps for when it blends in and then it's a smooth transition as it blends out because I'm not aiming or anything. It's just going to that animation. So it's snapping. So when we go to do our transitions from the low ready firing to the uh, aimed out sights firing, that is going to be kind of, we need a way to blend it and we're going to be adjusting those blends to make it work. But I want to just set the blend in and blend out to zero and start tinkering. So this is what our animation should look like in Blender. But you can see it jolts and snaps when I spam the trigger. It doesn't have like any sort of like real reset, as well as it doesn't help that we don't have any actual delay set for our firing. But let's put these to 0 0.1. Give it a try. So that's what it kind of looks like how it snaps in and out. It's fairly quick and smooth. And when I spam shoot, the jolting is not quite as aggressive, but the animation still looks pretty good. It just comes down and settles smoothly. I want to do the blend time to 0 0.15, 0 0.15 for the blend out. That's what it looks like there. And that's our recoil, it's fairly smooth. Uh, we probably could actually make this a little bit quicker in Blender, at least for the initial jolt, because I think it's a, we're a little slow. But it's not too big of a deal, so I'm going to leave it as is. Right, so we now have our aim down sight animation playing. And up next we'll be working on shooting from the low ready, well just kind of from the hip, not from actually being up and looking down the sights. So, I will see you in that one.